So for the longest time I've been meaning to do some tutorials and videos on Autodesk Red or V-Red, however you want to pronounce it, and uh, this one's uh, the first one, mate, it's spectral ray tracing. I've wanted to know what this is for ages, and I've had it explained to me, and I thought, right, I'll do a quick video on this, more for my own benefit, really, so in case I forget what it is. So uh, I've got a basic scene set up. This is uh, an H a basic HDR studio environment, and I've got two objects in the middle. I was going to take you through making the objects, but if you want to know what spectral ray tracing is, I'm assuming you know how to make a torus and a sphere and assign a glass and, and an incandescent material to it, but that's what I've got. So the uh, the torus has just a basic glass material assigned to it, and I've changed the transparency color to red, and then the sphere in the middle is a plastic material with an incandescent value of 30,000 assigned to it, and it's a blue light. Uh, we've taken all the boxes for evaluate ray lights and uses a light source and then in render settings uh, for the ray tracing quality area we've got photon tracing enabled and I'm just going to be working with interactive ray tracing just because uh, I'm obviously I'm got time to wait three hours for a scene to render <laughs> it's going to work with the basic settings to, uh, to, dis to demonstrate what spectral ray tracing is so I've had it explained to me what spectral ray tracing is, and the way it works is with spectral rendering enabled, VRED treats the scene uh, and in directions and materials. They're all modelled in wavelengths and not RGB values anymore, which probably doesn't mean much to a lot of people, but I can demonstrate it quite easily. So if you enable just standard, let's turn off the materials box, right? If we turn on ray tracing, this happens. We've got a bright, massively bright blue light shining through red glass. So you're getting all these red reflections as the light goes through the glass and then disperses across the uh, the floor. That's not what you'd actually see because it's a, this is a blue light. So when you turn on spectral ray tracing, it doesn't just calculate RGB values anymore. It's all to do with wavelengths. You've got blue wavelength light going through red glass. And what you're going to see instead is this purple dispersion at the bottom on the ground as the the blue light goes through the red glass and that's all the uh, that's all that spectral ray tracing is really i am not 100 percent sure why it's not enabled by default because that's kind of what would happen maybe it's just very computationally intensive and it's just something that you really only need to turn on if you actually need it like car tail lights yellow led shining through red glass perhaps i don't know that's what spectral ray tracing is it what's quite cool is you can see this happen even more intensely if you go into the hdr of the uh the studio the the HDR environment itself, turn off the exposure. So we've got no light being cast from the scene. The only light being emitted is from the uh, the sphere itself, the incandescent object. Turn on ray tracing, and then uh, that's what you get. Turn on spectral ray tracing, and then look at that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So we've got, you can see the purple haze at the bottom, and these are all the photons. I've not got many photons in the scene, just so I can keep it pretty quick to enable and disable. But yeah, that's what spectral ray tracing is. It's all to do with wavelengths and light changing color as it goes through different uh, mediums. Okie dokie, there you go. That's it. That's all there is to it. Uh, I'm, if, if anyone's interested, I can do a few more like this as I'm picking up little tips and tricks like what NURBS rendering is. I learned that as well. And uh, various other settings in VRED because there's not a lot of material out there on VRED and what stuff is. But uh, there you go. Let's turn on the alias thing and see what happens because this looks pretty awesome. It's uh, not a very realistic scene. But um, there you go. Yeah, that's a very a very unrealistic glowing blue sphere shining through a red donut. <laughs> it's not something you see every day, but it looks pretty awesome. Anyway, there you go. Thank you very much, guys. That's uh, spectral ray tracing in VRED. Uh, hit like. Let me know if you uh, if you want more stuff like this. I've been playing with VRED for months. I absolutely love it. It's what I spend the majority of my free time doing. So uh, I can probably do quite a few things on this. All right. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.